Uh, right in there. Boom. Nice. Uh, which vault am I in? Hold on. I think I'm in the wrong vault. That looks like the wrong vault. Yep, yeah, I'm in vault 50, uh, 45 there. Hold on. Wrong one. Wrong one. Uh, that's a new vault that I've started, uh, that I'm uh, doing recording for. Uh, for some reason, it's not. Let me do it. Yeah, that's, that's much better. Because uh, this one has a bunch of stem packs at the top. That's why I noticed that uh, the difference. Nope, it hasn't changed. All right, hold on. Uh, I couldn't even stream earlier. Wasted a good couple hours on it. Uh, go ahead and double check again on your guys' in. Let me know uh, if it has updated now. Okay, let's go to it. We've got a lot of stuff to do here in Vault 52. Now, again, if you want to get your name in-game, uh, you can go ahead and add it through your channel points. Uh, right down on the bottom right corner. Uh, and we're going to keep this rocking. Not worried about the mysterious stranger right now. We got 103,000 caps. We just want to keep everybody going. This one, you're on in a groove right here, everybody. This one, you're just absolutely rocking it. Absolutely crushing it. All right, and these guys are maxed now. Uh, so we can pull them out of there, put them up here, maybe grab this person, put her back down in there. Same thing here. Uh, let's see, she's already max intelligence. Anybody who's not max intelligence up here? Huh? Nope. <laughs> nope, those people are already uh, maxed out. Uh, all right. Mr. Handy's gonna grab all of that. Um, is somebody maxed down here? Man, even more of them down here. She's maxed out as well. Right there. He's maxed in luck. Does he need intelligence? Apparently he does. All right, put her back up there. She's already maxed. Uh, this guy is maxed in uh, endurance now. Uh, he's already maxed there. Oh, let's put him in intelligence over here. There we go. Uh, and again, you want to keep all the people who are maxed in that particular thing and just keep swapping them around so they're maxing in different uh, different stuff. And you can see my food, water, uh, and power is just absolutely on point. Look how many people we got waiting in the doorway. Uh, let's see if there's anybody else out here who might need a res. No, these people are still going. They got like 17 stem packs left. They're going to be going for a really long time. That's going to be a couple days before they... Uh, do that. We got people still returning to the vault. 35 minutes there and 30 minutes there. Uh, oh, and here comes the Death Claws. Death Claws going to get annihilated. I probably have a crazy ton of stem packs, too. Uh, oh, and I got another tactical junk jet. Get to one of these guys over here. All right, let's get in there and watch the action. One of them already down. Again, what we're trying to do is stop them within the first two rooms. And we got these people down here who got some uh, weapons as well. Got them. All right. Death Claws are usually the hardest ones. Uh, you never want him to get past the second row. Uh, really, you don't want him to get past the first row. Uh, but they absolutely crushed it. Uh, it's because I gave away my type top weapons, by the way, to uh, some of my peeps in the wasteland here. 
Uh, and now we're about to bring a ton of people in here, too. Uh, let's go ahead and talk. Get this girl right here. We're going to sell all the common items. Or actually, we won't even bother. We're just going to do this. Got that done. All right, let's get these people in here. Uh, it's going to be uh, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three. And then down here into that one. All right. Uh, you don't want these people uh, wandering around the vault, everybody. You want them constantly working on stuff. Uh, ooh, unlocking some more. Oh, we actually can make that legendary. Uh, a guided fat man, real master, bunch of stuff we unlocked there. Nice, and a baseball bat. Uh, let's go ahead and check our legendaries. Oh, we have a bunch of legendaries we can do. Uh, let's go by cost, and then we'll turn it this way. Yeah, rocket launcher. Uh, but here's the funny thing. See, look, this is 2023, and this is 2024. So obviously, you'd want the 2024 one. And then go look and see if there's any more. Now, my actual favorite one in here, let's see if we have it. Uh, we don't have it yet. Uh, it's called the Dragon Maw. I actually wanted to have one made for TwitchCon one year, uh, but I settled for the Overseer's Guardian. Uh, but the Dragon Maw is awesome, man. It's one of the best weapons uh, in Fallout Shelter. Uh, I don't think I have it unlocked yet. Yeah, right there, Dragon's Maw. Right there. Now, another good one, by the way, is to have uh, two people with your Dragon's Maw and then one person with an uh, MIRV. And that's because the MIRV is an AOE weapon. Uh, so it'll AOE a bunch of mobs. Uh, now, definitely want to get this uh, this uh, missile launcher uh, going. So we'll get that going because I think that's one of the highest uh, level weapons that I can make right now. So let's get that going. We got our food done. Uh, what else we got? 50 incidents, three wear weapons. Uh, oh, and that's going to get done. I performed three perfect critical hits. I don't know if we're getting that one done, but we're going to try to get as much done as we can. Uh, all right, now time to clear some loot. Now, one of the things that I will do is just literally drop all the loot uh, in here just so I can very quickly go ahead and say, all right, do the whole stack of it, right? Like this. Uh, and I love the fact that they added this eventually. I used to have to actually click these one at a time uh, when this game first came out. And I've, I've literally cl uh, clicked like 6,000 or, or tapped 6,000 times playing it on uh, uh, playing it on tablet. That's a lot of tapping, everybody. A lot, a lot of tapping. All right, all that other low stuff, we can just get rid of that. Uh, same thing with some of these outfits. Um, these are all like low level, level threes. Again, sometimes I feel like it goes a little faster. Even the sports outfit, we're going to get rid of that. Plus five, we're going to keep those. Uh, we're working toward our plus sevens. Oh, and my uh, laundry is done. Uh, I got to go put the laundry in the dryer. Oh man, time goes by fast, man. That was a fast, that was a fast hour right there. All these other ones like this, I get rid of these two. Unless it's a plus seven. Uh, I get rid of all of this stuff. Right now, we're working on plus fives, and eventually, uh, we want to get plus sevens. So, any plus fives, we keep those. Everything else, got to go. Yeah, see, sometimes it's just easier to come in here and, and do that uh, a little bit faster uh, in the long run. Uh, also, if you've got certain uh, quests that you're doing, um, and if you sell them before they come in the vault, it actually doesn't count toward your quests. Uh, so good idea to uh, uh, to bring them sometimes in the vault. But most of the time, you just want to sell common items once you've kind of gotten everything unlocked like that because it's just way easier uh, to bring them in the vault like that. And then these guys, I'm going to bring them in, and they're going to sit here and make stem packs. Now, another thing you might want to do uh, with your peeps is to go along uh, and find all your peeps who are radiated uh, and de-radiate them as quick as possible. Uh, so they're starting to heal up, like her right there. Good example. Especially the people who look unhappy. Those are typically the ones that are all radiated. Yeah, right there. Omega. Dale is unhappy. Uh, down here. And again, when they're standing in the vault, they'll actually heal. Uh, and their happiness will go back up again uh, when you uh, 
uh, get that going on. All right, there we go. Uh, any other stuff we got to click down here? Let's just zoom out. Uh, I think we're all good to go. Oh, these raiders are about to get annihilated. Uh, now, since I have plenty of stem packs, I'm just going to go ahead and heal these guys up. So I don't have to do it while they're in there. I highly suggest after you do get attacked, especially from Death Claws, that you just go ahead and heal everybody that's in this room. Uh, that's in your defense room. And again, I do not upgrade the vault door. I leave it unupgraded uh, so they can get in and get annihilated as quick as possible. Get them in now. Then I click on them to try to get rid of them as quick as possible, too. Sometimes what they like to do is they like to run back in this room, and then they run back in that room, and then they take an absolute a bazillion years, at least it feels like it, to get up here and die. There you go. All that. If one of them drops, like, loot, and then the other two drop, usually, caps. Actually, stealing my caps. Look at my caps going down. Die already. Killing my caps. All right, 168,000 caps right now. All right, well, this ain't no, uh, you know, pleasure cruise here. Time to get back out in the wasteland here, people. Uh, off they go. Uh, 25 and 10. We won't see them for a couple days. Oh, wait, I can give her a better weapon. Uh, let's give her something better. There you go. I'm going to start equipping now. Now that my peeps in the vault uh, have pretty decent weapons, uh, I'm going to start equipping the peeps who are outside the vault. Oh, and we got, a, we got a thing here. Let's go check out this abandoned cave, see how this is doing. Uh, and again, we're just going to play a little bit of Fallout Shelter here uh, while we're waiting for our last battle. Oh, it's Bitter Cup, too. She's my uh, legendary. I actually have two legendaries now in this vault. Uh, let's go ahead and get her in here and see what happens. Nana didn't tell me we're expecting guests. Oh my, I should have tidied up. Uh, who's Nana? She's my grandma, but be careful. She's a bitter, uh, she's a biter. Papa was something and it went away too fast. Wow, humans really did screw things up royally. Okay. Apparently, we're going to go see who Nana is. She's a biter. Nana is a ghoul. She's got a puppy, too. The puppy uh, gives her uh, plus 18% wasteland weapons and outfits. What's she doing on her stem packs? Doing pretty good. Do not want her to die, but if she dies, she'll have to run back to the, uh, you'll fail the event. Oh. Ah, so close. So close on that one. Wow, tons of loot. All right, her Nana is totally a goal. You know what this reminds me of? Uh, that uh, uh, that uh, settlement uh, in Fallout 4 where it's way out on the water and it has that like uh, kind of statue thing in the center. I forget what the name of it's called. Uh, but yeah, that reminds me of that where you go down in the basement and there's just absolute tons of ghouls down there. Uh, I forget what that particular settlement is called. Uh, my uh, Fallout 4 knowledge is, is waning. Uh, look at that legendary uh, uh, crafting gear there. I forget what it's called. All right, logging out. 
logging out of there and i'm just gonna let her keep going she's got 18 stem packs and nine rataways so she's at 23 hours right now let's we'll let her keep rocking uh and again their goal oh 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 no i want to move that person just leave them out there there we go uh their goal is to make a bunch of stem packs that uh i can just take these people and turn them right back around uh out in the wasteland she's a quest mob there we're gonna keep her we're gonna keep him uh, I think we were doing something with these peeps uh, earlier. Were we trying to send them out? We should have uh, had them running out there all this time. Because um, it takes two hours to go out there unless you nu use your Nuka-Cola Quantum. Uh, and we could have been uh, having them run out there. Uh, let's send everybody out to the wasteland first. Uh, and if we have enough time, we'll do that quest because we're going to run out of time here. Uh, all right, right there, and then off you go. We'll just heal him up. And want to get him back out to Wasteland, collecting his tons of loot. Oh, wait, I just did the thing I didn't want to do. Darn it. It's a great trick, everybody. Uh, you wait for her to go out in the Wasteland, and you literally recall her right back again. That was my bad. Recall. She's literally going to stop and she's going to turn around and run back to the vault. My bad, my bad. All right, back in there you go. Okay, meant to grab one of these ones. All right, here we go. We got uh, CMS Smiley. He's ready to go. Now you got all your stem packs and rataways back, by the way. Uh, she brings them back into the vault. Uh, heal up Gloria here. Again, you're not saving these for a rainy day. You want to use these up. Uh, Lori's ready to go. Man, these people are getting to be max level, too. Lots of Rataways over there. People getting leveled up. Again, see, it gets a lot more active. Uh, again, as you get to uh, about this stage uh, as well. Of course, the more people you send out to the wasteland, the more chance but Death Cloud is going to show up uh, and attack your uh, primary vault here. Um, all right, I think she is someone who's staying in the vault, and then we got to get rid of some of these peeps and them back out. And my goal is to have everybody doing something uh, while I'm not even in the game. Uh, do we got anything that Dale can wear other than what he's got? No. Alright, fine. Again, I like to fully heal them before I send them out. Um, because it's just easier. Ah. I hate that one. I couldn't see the guy behind there and I grabbed him. Oh, there we go. There's that death claw attack. I knew it was coming. That's why I kept a bunch of those uh, stem packs. All right, let's see how we do in this round. Another one down. We're missing a person over here too. That's why they're not getting killed in this room is because uh, I'm missing one person. I only have only three people there. We'll move somebody up there after this. This guy. Toast. There we go. I like to keep these rooms full uh, so the defenders can uh, fend them off before they get down and disturb... Uh, anything else? Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Uh, she's ready to uh, head out. Not enough uh, stem packs, though. How much? Uh, eight minutes on the battle. And now we're kind of in a uh, wait uh, stage here because we're going to need to get more stem packs. Uh, so this is the part where typically I will zoom all the way out and just look at the vault like this. Uh, and then just wait for the stem packs to come up. Uh, and whatnot. Uh, and eventually you'll see that I have the bulk of my people, other than the people who are doing power and food, 
uh, the bulk of them will be in stem packs. Uh, and I'll literally try to get like four or 500 stem packs backlogged so I can just take everybody and send them back out again. Because if you think about it, 25 times 25, 25 people in the wasteland, and then they need 25 stem packs. That's a lot of stem packs, everybody. Uh, hey, Suri, what's 25 times 25? 25 times 25 is 625. 625 stem packs if we're going to send everybody out at the same time. Uh, all right, sending me out. I'll find you some good loot. Oh, yeah, you already did. Found some good loot and then uh, brought me back tons of caps, too. Uh, let's see how your character's doing. Uh, let's see, what level uh, is your character now? You're level 45, uh, crushing it. You looking sharp. Looking sharp right there. Uh, now, let's also make sure that we got both of our crafting things going. Uh, we got our guided missile launcher, but oh, we haven't been crafting any outfits. All right, let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, we need 90 dwellers required. Well, we're at 176, so we got that going. Let's go ahead and spend 90,000 caps, everybody. Boom! There we go. All right, let's unlock some legendary outfits. Holy moly, we got a lot to unlock. Piper's outfit there, too. Oh, look at this power armor. Oh, the X01 there. All right. Now, we don't have, I don't think we have any uh, uh, resources to go ahead and make any power armor, but oh, man, I want to make me some X01 uh, right here. Now, some of these, uh, some of the power armor is actually not that great. Uh, I forget which one I would typically use. Uh, it's usually based on the total amount of stat points that you get. Uh, like 3 plus 2, that's 5 total stat points. And this would be 3 plus 1, which would be a total of 4 stat points. Uh, and uh, I think the X01 uh, is the one with the best. This one right here, the Mark uh, 4. Uh, because it's 4 and then 1 and 1. So that's 4, 5, 6 total stat points uh, going to that. Except for 10 penny suits here. Look at this. 2, 4, 6. And that would be 7. Uh, the T45F power armor is 567 again. Uh, again, 567. So that's what you're looking for. 4567 again. Uh, so 7, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the F versions uh, are pretty awesome. Uh, 567. Again, yeah, trying to look and see if there's anything beyond 7. 567, 4, 5, 6, 7. see anything um but there is some more uh recipes for us to unlock uh but we don't have anything that we can do on legendary so let's go ahead and go rare uh and let's just keep going on our intelligence stuff if we can get that going right here All right, how are we doing on stem packs? All right, we're ready to send someone else out there. Uh, and we got uh, lab coat and officer fatigues. So let's see, this guy has plus five. He's got plus five. He's plus three. All right, there we go. Same thing with military fatigues down here. I usually start from the left side and work my way across. I can see his says 05, 05. Benjamin here might need uh, some new deal. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and then I'll just get rid of the uh, level threes now. Don't need those for right now. Uh, and just keep working them level fives and eventually we'll just keep working them level sevens. Uh, and then just absolutely dominate uh, here in the vault. All right, she's ready to go. Back out to the wasteland. All right. Get her going. Lots of stem packs. How we doing here, Dragon Overlord? Uh, let's get him out there. Give him a better weapon. I hear them stare strangers somewhere, but the the bigger your vault gets, the harder it is for you to find Mysterious Stranger. 
Uh, one of the things I would do is I would check uh, the uh, elevators first. I always check the vault door. He likes to hang out in the vault door quite often. Uh, and then I check the elevators because if he's in the elevator, the elevator actually glows green uh, like somebody's waiting to go in the elevator. So it's a real good indicator uh, that he might be in that particular uh, elevator. Uh, so you definitely want to keep uh, an eyeball out for that. Uh, look at Roe over here. He's got himself a little parrot. He got himself a parrot. Uh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that love. Uh, Lorenzo coming in, showing some love here. Uh, we got two more minutes on that battle. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and do our battle. We're going to do as many races as we can. Uh, and then uh, we're going to call it there because I got to go do some laundry. Uh, I think my laundry is ready here too. Now I don't want to walk away from my vault here. I'll just wait till the end of the stream and then I'll go do the uh, do the laundry. Uh, then. Oh, Rad Scorpion gonna get annihilated. Get some of these people's weapons out. You can switch your weapons right in the middle of battle, by the way. Which I think it's super cool. Right, he's still got the shotguns. We'll switch them out. Give him a nice, a uh, little bit of an upgrade there. Six, eight. And eh, good enough. And then we can get rid of these old shotguns. Keep trying to upgrade them little by little. Every single person in the vault eventually should have, like, the best weapons you can give them. Uh, but for definitely the people at the top should have the best weapons because that's where you usually get attacked. Uh, unless it's a rad scorpion like that. Uh, and then if it is a rad scorpion, that's why the rest of your vault should at least have some sort of weapons uh, to defend themselves. The only exception, the mega dwellers uh, over here. They're level one, and check it out. Uh, he's already Perception 10. He's working on his Agility. is Agility 5. Uh, so what these guys will do is they'll get all of the stats to maximum first. If at any point they level up past level 1, they're instantly kicked out of the Mega Dweller program. Uh, and uh, so I lose a few uh, as I'm leveling up. But once they get to max all stats, I'll then uh, just send them to the Wasteland with a bunch of stem packs and maybe a weapon and an outfit. Uh, and then they'll come back level 50. They will just level all the way up, uh, usually in one trip in the wasteland, because they're going to be out there for a very long time. Uh, all right, battle time. To battle. All right, I think we got that pretty squared away for right now. Uh, let's see if there's any uh, anyone else. I can send one more person to the wasteland here. And then I'm going to do, uh, since we already have our food and water just really rock solid, uh, I'll click everything here, and I'm just going to jump out of the vault uh, for just a moment here. Like that. All right, there we go. Uh, and let's go ahead and start this battle. I'm going to go ahead and boost your guys' range damage, and let's see if we can get in a win. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and get ready for our race. And get this going on, man. I lots of technical problems. Uh, getting this going home. Uh, the last coat was eight, I think. Uh, was eight? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't see it. I didn't see it, but there is, I believe there is an eight in there. Uh, that we can uh, eventually unlock. Oh, man. Oh, man. We lost a bunch of peeps. But we still brought in the win. Nice. Uh, all right, there we go. Some love going to Arrington, some Akia, and uh, GW Shark Girl. Ah, right, you know what? Close enough. I'm gonna give you guys a thousand kiss caps uh, for coming in and helping us out with boss number 896. Four more bosses. We're gonna have 900 boss kills. And we're gonna pick this up later on tonight uh, when we're doing some satisfactory. So 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, we're going to turn that sound off right here so we can get our races done. Uh, all right, everybody, 60 seconds on the clock. Now, we're going to do a bunch of races in a row. 
Uh, so we can try to at least get all of your energy back uh, toward the uh, uh, toward the event. So go ahead and uh, get that going on. Exclamation play in the chat. Now, the second we're done with this race, make sure to go really quickly. Exclamation play because I'm only going to give you one minute. Uh, after this race to do another one, uh, and then we're going to have, this will be five, six, and then a one after that, and then one after that. So we're going to try to do them all uh, in rapid succession uh, as well. And then we're going to peace out of here because I'm getting real tired. Uh, getting a very, very tired. Ah, uh, no worries, K-Man Mox. No worries, man. All right, let's do this. Now, remember, don't wait to the end. If you wait to that last 10 seconds, remember, it's 10 second delayed here on stream as well. Uh, so if you wait that last 10 seconds, uh, you may not get in that race, but don't worry. We're going to do an uh, another bunch of them here in just a second. Oh, where'd everybody go? There they went. Oh, down in it to win it. Whoa, a bunch of people jumped off the side. Whoa, bye-bye. Holy mackerel, a bunch of people died. Tardis, Akia, Kritz, uh, TMs, Paul, and Adam. Uh, tons of Fs in the chat, everybody. Uh, we lost a bunch of peeps on that one. Uh, that's messed up. That is messed up right there. We lost all our peeps. Don't worry, don't worry. We're going to do some more here in a second. Stay at the ready, everybody. Stay at the ready. I'm, I'm hoping somebody makes it to the end of this one. I'm amazed that I'm still alive. I'm always uh, stunned if I even make it to the end. Oh, here we go. Here we go with the slow-mo. Slow-mo drop in, Joey! Hey, you got a win there, Joey. Congrats. Uh, CMS coming in as well, number two. Uh, and uh, Grayson, uh, number three. Congrats on that epic uh, top three there. Uh, and even making it to the end. Wow, that's a lot of DNFs right there. All right, here we go. 60 seconds coming up on the clock. The second this goes away, exclamation play. Uh, I'm going to give you 60 seconds to make it happen. We're going to do another one. Uh, hit the start button. There we go. I'm going to join in as well. Uh, so let's do this. Let's get it going on up in here. And then I got to go do some towels. <laughs> I got to fold a bunch of them. Uh, and I've got to uh, put some towels in the dryer. We'll get this done. Twenty seconds left. Make it happen, Captain. Let's we'll see what everybody's marbles looking like. Yeah, and remember, you got uh, different marbles to choose from up here, everybody. Uh, different marbles. Cool sounds. Cool sounds. All right, here we go. Very shiny in this one. Ah, right, my eyeballs. My eyeballs. Gym tan laundry. Yeah, laundry day. Well, you have children every day is laundry day, T Market. <laughs> Some of you know what I'm talking about. They use like 47 towels every day. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's a. Uh, it's a, it's a problem. I'm literally doing three rounds of towels today, everybody. I let it go a little bit, uh, because I was working on the website. Uh, plus I bought brand new towels. Uh, some of them are new towels, so I, uh, gotta let them, uh, use them all the towels so then I can run them in the washer because it gets rid of all that extra lint that, you know, builds up from new towels. Uh, have you ever had new towels? If you look at your, you know, your towel, uh, the lint in the dryer, uh, it's going to be filled with uh, filled with that linen there. Uh, and after a while, uh, the towels uh, will uh, uh, not have that problem as much. I'm fine. Oh, look at this. Look at that big guitar string. Oh. Where are we going? We're floating into outer space here. Where's everybody going? I don't know. Crit's coming down. He's landed. Oh, people are still landing. Whoa, no! See him with Smiley. Whoa, look at that. He's all over the place. T market way up in the front. Uh, trying to get that win. This is too dark. Can't see squat. 
Let's see what happens. Man, all over the place. Really riding the edges, riding the sides. Oh, oh, I feel like a win coming in for T-Market. Let's see. Oh, no. Barriers in the way. Gonna get people a chance to catch up. Oh, but T-Market sneaks it in still. Uh, brings in the win. Crit's coming in. And Akia, number three. And, of course, I fall off to my death. Uh, along with Rotisserie G. Right at the end, everybody. That's the worst place to die. Right at the end. Right off the side there. Uh, oh, and you see him as Smiley. We lost him as well. Uh, F's in the chat for our peeps, everybody. Uh, all right, again, one more minute. Uh, I'm going to give you... Uh, so the second this goes away, exclamation play. Get it going on. We're going to do another one. And then one more after that. Uh, and then we're going to peace out. Uh, Kill me got towels to do. I got uh, I got to send Rotisserie G's t-shirt out at some point here. Uh, I got to get that done as well. I still got to work on more stuff for the website and more sponsored stuff and more cool stuff uh, here in the stream. Uh, more cool stuff uh, for sure. Uh, oh, I got to check my uh, whispers. Speaking of. Checking my text messages as well. Uh, all right. How we doing? Whoop. Still waiting. Still waiting. All right. Come on. Ten seconds. Two seconds. Here we go. Oh, now look at these sexy peeps. Look at these sexy. This is a sexy group right here. Oh, look at Rotisserie G teleporting in. Super cool. Brains. Uh, he's in the back, but probably not for long. Look out. All right. Here we go. Let's see who gets the lucky spin spin. I like to look straight down right here. Uh, and see who spirals around the center. Uh, all right. Now, what you want to do on this one is get lucky and bump into somebody else uh, so it knocks you straight down into the center. Kritz looks like he's ahead. T-Market right behind. Uh, and I feel like we're going in. Yeah, there we go. We're in there. But they going up the thing. Up and over and down. Whoa, Aki uh, again, way out in the front. Uh, again, you can use, the, remember, you can use those boosts. You can use those jumps and strike as well. Uh, Rotisserie G trying to get through. Oh, he got knocked around. Uh, T-Market getting some help there. Uh, I think, whoa! Whoa, you see that Grayson getting, oh, so we lost some peeps as well off the side. Uh, Grayson actually getting some super help there uh, from the launcher, and I think that's going to be an epic Grayson win right there. Mm, boom, with the slow-mo uh, for you there. Congrats on that win, man. Uh, whoa, people getting knocked around uh, big time uh, in there. Poor M's over there getting getting hit. There we go. Now you get a little bit of help. Uh, who's coming in next? Joey, number two. Rotisserie G, number three. Uh, and I'm astounded I even made it to the end. More Fs in the chat, everybody. I know, right, T-Market? You're like, oh, man. Uh, I was doing so good, and then I got tripped up. I got tripped up on these darn spinny things. That's okay. We believe in you. We, can, we believe you can make it to the end. There you go. There you go. Up and over. You got this. You got it. Through the spinny thing. Woo. And dropped in. All right. Very nice. Congrats, Grayson and Joey and Rotisserie G. Uh, one more to go, everybody. Again, come and join us again. The more races you join us for... Uh, the more points you're going to get uh, toward your uh, getting your energy back. Uh, so again, 60 seconds, last race of the uh, day stream here. We're going to be back, of course, tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, doing some more. So uh, in about five hours, whatever your local time is, uh, we shall be back uh, for more fun. Again, exclamation play right here, everybody. Come on, we want to get you uh, the maximum amount of loot today. Uh, and again, sorry for that delayed start there. You can blame Twitch for that one. Uh, and a little bit of stream elements. 
because uh, stream elements like added two start uh, streaming buttons to my thing and I was trying to fix that and then it wouldn't let me log into Twitch and then I was trying to fix that. Uh, it was uh, it was a bit of a nightmare. I remember this open to everybody. You can just go exclamation play in the chat whether you're on mobile or on desktop. Doesn't matter. I know a bunch of you uh, watch my stream on mobile as well. Uh, so uh, remember, don't need any special software or anything for joining us for races. So pretty fun. All right, everybody dropping in, getting it going on. I like this kind of uh, low view like this. What do you guys think in the chat? Put the one in the chat if you like this low view. We're just like right up on the marvels. Uh, I try to be as cinematic as I can with the camera. Whoa, 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 hold on. We're getting a reversal here. Everybody pretty well clustered. And we're getting a drop down, and I bet you it's going to go the other way again. Yep. Oh, oh, this might just be a straight shot. Oh, uh, who's going to be daring enough to try a boost right there? I don't know. Whoa, whoa, look out. Oh, man, that's some danger there. Danger, stranger, danger. Stranger, danger. Oh, no, Akia. Oh, I'm going with you, uh, CMS Smiley. I'm going to join all three of you at the bottom of the level because uh, we just rip right there. F's in the chat. Everybody. I got to put some F's in the chat. Uh, for me, I don't know. I keep forgetting to put F's in the chat for me. There we go. Uh, F's in the chat, everybody. Uh, for our peeps. Uh, all right. Eh, it's still, it's still a race. We still got people going there. Rich History G trying to get himself a win. Way out in the front. This is a long one. Uh, way out in the front there. Keejin, you can still win. You can still win, Keejin. Ducky, you got this. Come on, bro. Keep on at it. Uh, if they get tripped up up here, you can catch up. Let's see what's going to happen. Rotisserie G again, way up in the front. Whoa, almost off the side. Same thing with T-Market there. Oh, 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 that's a close one. Uh, Rotisserie G dropping in. He might have the win. Let's see that epic slow-mo. Boom, bringing the brains. Uh, into that uh, thing. T market dropping in number two. He's going to get himself some points. Oh, uh, and who's going to be Joey coming in number three? Dominating. You guys are dominating these races. Uh, let's go. I'm just happy to make it to the end, and I did not make it to the end because I am the DNF king, everybody. The did not finish king. <laughs> That's my RNG. So don't feel bad. Yee, there you go. All right, everybody. Let's go ahead and see who our Grand Prix champions are. Uh, in third place of this round, hopefully this thing's working. Uh, in third place is going to be... Nobody? Is it still broken? I think this thing is broken. I thought it was just because we weren't in season. But I think it's just broken. Oh, there we go. Whoa, really big, too. Whoa, look how big they are now. Grayson coming in number three. Maybe he's just taking an inordinate amount of time. Yeah, they're like way bigger now. Rotisserie G coming in number two and uh, Joey coming in number three. I have to hit the space bar. Uh, I just realized you got to hit the space bar to make that happen now. Uh, used to automatically happen. All right, there we go. Congrats to uh, Joey, uh, who is our uh, Grand Prix champion of that round. Uh, now, if you do go in and uh, download the software uh, Marbles on Stream and you go in and customize it, maybe you want to get yourself a cool little puppy or this guy, uh, Karate Gal, uh, or get yourself something super cool like uh, fancy, some fancy stuff. Uh, make sure to use my credit code KISSMIT. It does help a lot here in the stream. Uh, allows me to do more cool stuff. All right, let's go uh, to my office real quick, and then we will go uh, to the Kismet Love Train, and I'm going to just peace out. Let's go. All right, everybody getting really tired now. Really tired. I only had a few hours of sleep, but we're going to get into it. 
Uh, right over here, of course, here's my schedule, everybody. Tuesday through Thursday, 1 p.m. and at 10 p.m. You can check out this schedule uh, on my social media, also on Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as well. Uh, check it out on all my social media. Just take a quick moment right now. Pop on over to YouTube.com. You know that I have over three thousand videos up there and i spent a lot of time organizing them uh this week as well uh so feel free to check those out check out the twitter uh twitter.com slash kidsmebp as well as where i usually post when i'm going live or if i see something cool like contests or giveaways or, or jobs uh like uh jobs in art or entertainment or in gaming if you're looking for a job uh, i try to uh find if i see them in my uh, things i'll retweet them so you guys have a chance at it uh, as well, you can check out the Discord and especially check out my updated uh, website, everybody, kismet.gg. Tons of epic stuff there. And of course, you want to support the stream, the best place to do it, right over on patreon.com. Uh, let's pop over the Kismet Love Train so we can say thanks to all my patrons uh, and all of you. Let's go. All right, everybody. Uh, thanks to all my patrons uh, down there at the bottom. Uh, and thanks to all the peeps coming over here. And I'm going to say thanks to everybody in the chat. That's why you don't leave my chat, everybody. Here's why. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 caps toward future giveaways. That's why you stay all the way to the end of the stream right there. So you guys get hooked up uh, right there big time. Uh, let's say uh, thank you again to all the Teamwork Tycoons who got on the Kidman Love Train today. Uh, we had a few followers. Uh, I appreciate uh, those follows. Uh, as well, uh, every follow does make a difference. We're over 25,000 followers here on Twitch. That's incredible, everybody. I, I remember when I first started, and I had like 10 followers, and most of them were my guild members. Uh, <laughs> way back in the day, and I said, one of these days, I'm going to have 100 followers, everybody. Uh, and one of these days, I'm going to be a partner. Uh, so naive in those days. Uh, but it's funny, you can go back and watch some of those uh, really old streams. The thing I look at, everybody, is not what I'm saying or what I'm doing, but I'm looking at the production quality of how low the production quality of my stream was back there in the beginning and how incredibly uh, next level it is now. Uh, it's on a whole nother level. Uh, all right, everybody, that's it for me. I will see you guys in about five hours, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Love each and every one of you. Bye, everybody. <laughs>